Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is part three of the Husqvarna 460 Rancher with only less than three hours on it, running the Husqvarna Premix gas. What made me tear it apart here today was my old reliable 154 SE has no spark. And I suspect it's the coil gone in it. And I don't know if I'll be able to find one because this saw is well over 30 years old. And I got no spark at all. I took the wire off and tested it with an ohm meter and it's fine. <clears throat> but anyway, I took this all apart because if you've seen the other two videos, uh, I'll link them above. Um, this saw is about six years old now. I bought it brand new, but I didn't use it for the first three or four years. It sat in the box. And then when I did use it, because that saw went down with a broken pull cord, and, and uh, I just grabbed this saw and used it because I needed to cut some stuff up right away. And it was, I was using the Husqvarna Premix gas that you pay about 30 bucks a gallon for. And uh, as you can see in the bottom there, some marks. And the bearings are shot. There's just all these little pieces of plastic we're all piled up in behind them. As you can see, this one here is piled up, coming out. And the piston ring is in one piece, but it was stuck in here with some brown shit that was in there. This, that brown stuff you see right there. Where's my finger? Right there, that brown crud right there. That's what I scraped out with the screwdriver. I don't know what it is. It it looks like almost like sawdust, almost. But I scraped that all out. You can still, if you look close, you can see it still in the very back of there. I don't know, it was some kind of quirk that maybe they had in behind there, because it was all around the whole back side of the ring. And it was stuck in there. You see the scoring on there? Because the ring was right stuck inside, with one corner sticking out. <clears throat> now, I believe what happened is, first of all, the bearings failed, and it started to go oblong, and not run true in the piston. And the jug is got the same track marks inside there. They wouldn't warranty because it was well past the two years. Because I had bought the gas with the saw. I swear I wouldn't warranty it. They just said tough luck. So and I don't know if it's worthwhile rebuilding because what I don't know about is if I can do this with one hand. See how easy that connecting rod slides across there on that bearing? And there is some discoloration on the metal cage. Uh, on on this side, if you look closely, you can see some discoloring on the cage. And I know I can order the parts from the States only for around $240 for the new piston, ring, and jug. And all the and the seals, these seals, and 
the seals that go um, right here, these rubber seals here. They all come with the rebuild kit. There's two rubber seals here, and they come with these seals. And it comes with a new piston and ring. <clears throat> That's US dollars coming from the States. Here in town, they want like $500 for the kit. But now that I need these bearings, and I'm not too sure about this bearing, and I don't think this comes apart, even to change that bearing, I tried to press that shaft a little bit, but it wouldn't it wouldn't press. Now, I don't know if there's a certain, it only goes in one way, it's tapered or what, I don't know. But I did try to press it on the press to about 600 pounds, and it didn't move. Um, so I don't know. And that's using the premix gas that you buy for us from Husqvarna. And it's got not even three hours on it. And I was cutting brush with it and a little bit of slabs for firewood. And like I say, it sat in the box for three, three, maybe four years. <clears throat> I think I bought this saw in 2010 and I didn't use it until three or four years later. Because I had my old reliable there. <clears throat> but I had a chance to get a new saw. So I got it. And uh, yeah. So that's the update here on this Monday, September the 2nd, 2019. It's a $700 saw. Canadian. Okay, that's about all I can show you, I guess. And that's the carburetor and everything in there. And the oil gear down in there, the old drive gear, the flywheel, the clutch. Okay guys, thanks a lot. This is just a short video on parting out selling parts of a Husqvarna 460 Rancher. Everything's the same on the 455. The only thing is, is the piston is, uh, I think, a couple of millimeters bigger. <clears throat> that was it, from what I understand. So it's all for sale. It's got not even three hours on this saw. Uh, complete recoil. Chain brake all like brand new all the housings bottom half coils not a coil chain brake handle oil pump it's being all parted out the piston is no good and the jug is no good but everything else on the jug the other parts are all good the uh Decompression button is good. Just the uh, the scored up. So there's a muffler, there's a carburetor, complete with all the parts on it. Clutch and bearing, flywheel, and the drive gear right there for. Oil pump, air filter, okay, that should be able to sum that up, any parts you need, give me a shout.